back to my channel. Hi. Well, those of you who usually follow me know that when you open one of my videos, you're in my art studio. And today we're in a whole new space. So you can see I have a sublimation printer, some 3D printers. I have just obtained a Cameo Pro. So today we're going to make a t-shirt using this sublimation printer. Now I'm going to show you how to make a t-shirt if you do not have a um, heat press. So we're just going to use an old fashioned iron and make a t-shirt um, with using sublimation ink and sublimation paper. So stay with me. All right, so first you're going to see I used my Canon. Now this is a poster printer. My husband uses it to do drawings for his uh, electrical engineer work that he does, but I'm kind of confiscating it today to, to do um, a print out with, because it's sublimation ink. Now I've heard of people using their own printers and adding sublimation ink. I already happen to have this one. So the design that I wanted to do today is yet another Sky, the game Sky print. So I'm going to put this on a t-shirt using, hold on, let me grab this using the sublimation paper that I actually just got off of Amazon. Eight and a half by 11 sheets, and that should be just perfect for the front of my t-shirt. Now you can make it bigger if you want, but I'm um, not wanting such a wide print. So we're gonna do this today. All right, so as you can see, I'm clearing out everything out of my space. I want to first go over this lightly. I just really want to make sure there's no moisture in that garment, even though it is a used garment. And if I have a rounded neck t-shirt, I want to go about three inches down, but because this is a V-neck, I don't want it to be too low. So I'm just going to go about two inches down. Now you can actually buy rulers for this purpose. I I'm just kind of guessing right now. And we'll move it over a little bit. All right, so that should be where you want it. Now, if you have something that you're worried about it moving around, there is heat tape that you can use to put um, onto that. And your heat tape is ma specially made so that it can be used with the iron. All right, so I have that where I want it. All right, Teflon sheet is ready to go. I'm just gonna sit it right on top. Now you see you can kind of slightly see through it so you know where you're ironing. And you're gonna iron for about 15 to 30 seconds. And keep moving it. Remember, this is not a heat press, so. All right, so let us see how that works. So remember, this is my first experiment at this, so we'll see if any of the ink came off or not. Nothing, not a little, not even a little bit. Hmm. All right, so here we are. This is a, a great experiment. So now you can see why certain papers are made and you cannot use your home iron to sublimate on your t-shirt. You must use a heat press because of the temperature that it can get to. So, all right. Thanks for watching my experiment.